everyone, so it's Holly with Missouri River Soap and today I'm making some soy wax melts. These are going to be the pink sugar cookie wax melts for our next release. I've had a lot of requests just to see how I do things and so that's what this video is for. In my pour pot, I already have some soy wax um, melted out. I have a Presto pot on my wax melt making table. It's quite stained with dye and everything. So I have brought it to the temperature that I am needing and I'm going to pour in my fragrance oil. I custom blend ours but there are some pink sugar cookie um, fragrances available. I don't usually work with this small amount of wax. It's just that I have these molds and I only have the four of them and I'm doing approximately half for right now. I'm going to do like fill them halfway. So every wax is different, it requires different pour temperatures, different fragrance load, etc. So I'm not going to be covering that or talking about that in this video. There are many many waxes available on the market and it's just a matter of researching, testing, and experimenting. So I have to stir this for a couple of minutes at the very least and then we'll see what the temperature is on it if I can pour yet. Meanwhile, I'm going to add just a little bit of liquid color. I do like the liquid wax colorants. That's an ivory and usually just one drop is enough to get me a nice color that will fade out to kind of a sugar cookie color. I have reached the temperature that I need so I'm going to go ahead and start pouring. I put this little paper towel here just to catch drips. This isn't always the easiest process because I don't want a bunch of drips on the edge of the inside. I want it to just be a nice layer. I have a pot here with some warm water. So if it cools down, I could just quickly get it to warm up just a bit without shocking it too much. I try not to do that at all. Once it starts cooling off, it tends to cool very quickly. You can see how it's solidifying, maybe, there on the edge. wasn't quite sure how much I needed for this one. Looks like I needed a little bit more so my next batch I will just make the adjustments and make a little bit more. These are going to be about one ounce and so I will sell them either three to four to a pack most likely. Alright, I'm going to allow these to harden just a little bit more before I put on the next layer. Okay, so here I am back with my wax. And I'm going to add my fragrance oil again. And stir, stir, stir. 
going to add in a little bit of a raspberry color. It's it very messy. I didn't worry about cleaning out the the light sugar cookie color. You can just um, mix in, no problem. So I have to stir this for a couple minutes. Okay, so my wax has cooled down enough that I can pour. So I'm just gonna fill them up to the top. Oop. It is often messy. You have to be very steady. Pink sugar is just one of those scents that brings back a great memory for me. This is the blend, but I absolutely adore pink sugar. Um, when I first met Kim with Bohemian Life, and at the time she was Alamo Candelaria, and she made me a pink sugar candle, and it just changed my life. Just changed it. Such a fan. And so I have loved pink sugar since then. For Mother's Day, my husband bought me the actual pink sugar perfume, and I still wear that. So I just adore the pink sugar scent. I do love it mixed with bakery type preferable sugar cookie. This sugar cookie isn't overly buttery. It's just more of a smooth vanilla cookie. So it's one I really love and it's such a great blend together. The pink sugar is kind of a, it's a sweet cotton candy. It has a lot of notes. Just a lot of notes to it. It is a beautiful fragrance and very fitting for the Valentine season. And it does have, you know, a perfume note, but it's not, it seems smooth to me. It's not like an overly floral. It is not headache inducing for me. I can't speak for anybody else. I just love it. It's just my favorite. So I will let these sit probably overnight at this point because it's later in the day for me. And then in the morning, I will unmold these and then there's still more to be done. So I have a little extra this time. I'm just going to fill up some little molds and I'll send those out as samples. But I have just a little bit left in there. All right, guys, I will see you back here for the next part. Okay, so it's time to unmold these wax melts. And just look how cute they are. Love it. These molds are really easy to work with. I love silicone molds. So it's just a matter of peeling them out. It smells so good too. Oh my goodness. Such a great blend. It's just so snazzy.
Okay, so for this part of the melt, I'm going to dip it in just some plain white wax that's unscented and then do a little sprinkles for a cute little added design. This is just how I roll, you know? I do this quite a bit. So, what I'm gonna do is gonna dip it down in and bring it out so that it can uh, solidify a little bit because I want it to be fairly white and it won't do that unless get several layers on there so I'll have to be ready to go with the sprinkles so it'll stick right away and there we have it let's see if I can do this a little bit better let's see how I can do it We'll try that. So I could just dip the top also, and that's something I do occasionally, but it is a little bit easier just to dip the sides. And these are just standard cake sprinkles. There's nothing too excessive about them. Just Standard sprinkles for cakes. And these will just, um, they'll kind of give a little bit of their color off sometimes when they're, they're actually being melted in the wax melter. And you will have to clean them out because they won't melt down. But my experience, it's really not that big of a deal. And they're just so cute. So I'm just going to keep working on these. It's going to take me a little bit. But I find it fun. It's a fun project. to glitter wax melts that kind of look like food just to kind of um, make it clear that it's not supposed to be eaten this is not coming out very well looks like it's empty but you get the general idea just gonna go ahead and continue glittering these and that's how we make our pink sugar cookie scented wax melts thanks for watching